Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have another gravity defying, common sense defying and physics defying garment. I actually looked up the definition of clothing with a few friends and we were pretty sure whatever I'm doing here is somewhere between clothing accessory and why would I do that. So yeah, we're not quite sure what I'm doing here and why am I doing it, but everyone has fun. The base idea is a dress thing that is very floaty around the body, that is very yeah open. Uh, the idea I had from like Magic Girl anime stuff that I currently not watching or not watch but in general I sometimes do by the way this time I had the figure in the render so you have an idea of where the parts are how the whole part fits around the body you can see it is very loose very open and this is also a homage to the Cupid set that I did last year it's basically a bit inspired by that a bit inspired by other bits and pieces that I found here and there I even have a sketch that I can put in here so you have a visual idea of what I actually worked with when I when I made this how the the design process is like not in completely but in, in general I'm doing sketches I'm doing ideas and then I try to make them into a physical form you can see I'm changing up a few pieces here and there but the general idea is that yeah over the weekend I didn't do content because I was uh, trying out a few things and I am kind of positive I might show some in an upcoming tutorial video I'm not sure because I'm trying to figure out a few things Things, how, how a few things work. I'm playing around with I keychains. In case you don't know, I keychains is a thing where you can make one figure move when another figure is moved to so basically link up different pieces or uh, give control of bones to figures or to bones of other figures. Um, this is something that I'm playing around with for a few design ideas I have that I currently cannot make into a working picture, working idea here. So I'm just looking into how this works and if I can make this work somehow. So I'll keep you posted, hopefully, if I can make this work. Over the weekend I didn't, so I didn't post the video because I just felt <laughs> relatively bummed out by this. But yeah, next week, next weekend, I will do lots of magic content again. So look forward to that if you like the content. And now with that, back to this piece. This is, by the way, not finished. And the live stream I will do next week on Wednesday. I will work on this and I will actually rig this. This is also something that I looked at in the weekend. I'm try trying to figure out a bit more about rigging and a few tricks, but so far I didn't really get it to work. I'm seeing if I get it to work over the weekend so I can show you next week. But yeah, the next live stream will be next week on Wednesday and I will add a few bones to this picture because if you jump to the very end, the final render you will see there's a lot of artifacts in there there's a lot of stuff that is very weirdly moved that is very misshapen that is torn apart and this I, I knew this would happen absolutely knew but I wanted to have it this way so I have a render as reference that I will have up in the live stream so I can show you what changes if I rig this and how it looks if it is rigged better than currently because currently it is not rigged at all. Specifically the details that I will work on in a bit I will 
rig and show you how I do that. For now, all I can say is you can see you can see the floaty fabric parts around the body, which I made from tubes. You could see that. So this is something where again didn't use the full body suit and I just threw this or not threw this together, but made this from scratch, which sometimes works a lot better. I'm also working on the UV maps in the middle because I already plan to copy paste this and then I later copy paste uh, the additional pieces, the accessories, the adornments. But yeah, I wanted to have this separate so I just can work on each piece uh, in singular. You can also see that each piece here, that each of the fabric pieces has its own material so I can for example remove a few of these and just have less of them in the actual render if I ever wanted to do that right now I'm working on the accessories and I first I, I thought about hey I'm using the heart-shaped chain links because it works better with the whole thing but in the end I decided I'm going to do a infinite or an eight shaped uh, loop just because it works very better and this is very thick this is intentionally so I can see it better I'm actually not really happy with the current chain links that I have because most of them aren't thick enough for the purpose of what I want so I will actually go take the five minutes out of my day tomorrow most likely and fix those that they're actually thicker and better to use and yeah we are already at the um, ornaments I really I basically did one ornament that I copy pasted a few times and later on I did a purity seal kind of thing inspired by warmer 40k purity seals but please don't tell any warmer player they will lynch me for this that I then abused for this idea. Yeah. The shape is relatively basic and you can see I'm just copy pasting this here up and down. These are still symmetrical and the purity seals that I will do in the end are not. Yeah, I also forgot to delete the wing ornament, but uh, yeah, not a big problem. So far the whole thing is very symmetrical and then I went to make the purity seals which are relatively simple in shape as you can see and I'm not really 100% sure if I should have made so many I have like 8 or 9 on the full suit and it may be a little bit too many I'm not 100% sure on that but it looks good it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I also played around with the uh, diamond shape here a bit and made it, and, yeah, removed a bit of the smoothing so it actually is more diamondy, diamond style. So, yeah. Lately, lastly, I used uh, some of the runes that I made. I thought about making new ones for this thing, but in the end, I decided I'm going to use those I have and take like another few days where I just make more of the accessory stuff like like more runes of the different rune thingies that I like to use so that I have more in the ornament step uh, that I can then put on the body yeah as you can see I've made these uh, purity seal like things it's, it's like a little gemstone a socket and the seal itself which I hang rend more or less randomly on the clothing though so, so I don't really have like a symmetry for this in the sketch you might have seen that I also didn't really fit this to the uh, to the thing before I just had the main idea of how the beauty seal should look so I then could put it on and yeah that's really not that complex 
yeah and that's it basically for this video i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy the render at the end as always stay healthy stay safe and i will see you guys around <laughs>